Hello, and this is part two of the journal tutorial. In the first part, I showed you how to import the script and change some of it just so that the text is what you want it to be. Um, in this part, I'll show you actually how to use it in a game and uh, how to call up what you've written down for what the person wants to rem be reminded of. So for time's sake, I already made two characters and I'll show you the events and it's actually quite simple once you know it it's very easy to implement so in this tutorial we're gonna have an old lady say if you can get her some milk from the farmer and then that'll become in the journal of what you need to do and then you need to get the milk and really that's it so really all I did was I started off with the text saying if you can get me some milk then I just showed the choice of yes and no if no, you know, he's a little bit rude and says, I have better things to do. If yes, uh, then uh, he says, yes, I can. Uh, it will activate the journal. I just put a comment in there just for that. Uh, so then I put the switch get milk on and the granny switch on. And I put a variable of milk equaling zero. Uh, so for get milk on, this will activate what the person or what is actually triggered in the script for the journal so when this is on so so remember we have to start off at 100 so this is the first one so I put get milk on and that will bring up the first thing that's in the journal then I put the granny switch on to go to the next event so then we go to the next event and that's here so then she asked if you got the milk yet. Then I I'll sh I show the choices of yes and no. Uh, if no, then you just say sorry I haven't got it. And then I do if yes, here it is. Then I check if the variable of the milk equals one. If it does, she says thank you. Here's something for your trouble. You get 25 extra gold coins. Then I put a switch of granny done off and get milk off. What the get milk off does is it takes the whole uh, little text out of the journal so I don't have to bother with that again. Then I change items of milk minus uh, one so you don't have the milk in your inventory. If milk doesn't equal one, it goes to else. Oh, sorry, I actually don't have it. And then she just says that's okay, you can wait. With this granny done, I go to the next event. And she just says thank you for your help, and that's the end of the end of the conversation, really. So if on the farmer's side, uh, I just make him start off. So you just talk to him randomly. If you haven't talked to the granny first, you can just say hello. Can I inter interest you with some milk? Just say no, I haven't a need for it. So now this is after you talk to the granny, and so since the granny switch on was there, I also put it on the farmer because that's when she needs the milk. So then. He says the same thing, can I interest you with some milk? And then you can say yes please. And uh, then you just change the variable of milk to one. I change the items of milk to one. So now you actually have the item of milk in your inventory. Then it just says, you know, you got some milk and you know, farmer, the switch farmer done is on. So then on the next event, it's just he just says, thanks for buying my milk. So it's actually quite simple and just to see it in action is this is more so what it should look like so I can talk to the farmer and he says can I interest you so it's no thank you so I talk to granny sure let's help her so then now if I go to the journal it says get some milk for the farmer uh, from the farmer so then I know that's one thing I have to do. So if I talk to the farmer, uh, says if it can interest you with some milk, just say yes. And then it says you get some milk. So I go to items. I actually have some milk. So then if I talk to the farmer again, he just says thanks for buying the milk. Now if I talk to Granny, it's like I can choose if I have the milk yet. Since I do have it, uh, she says thank you so much uh, for helping I get 25 gold and if I go back to the journal 
you can see it's gone. Now one thing I forgot to mention from the previous tutorial is in this script, uh, since I changed it, you, uh, there was a question mark before each sentence in the in the journal, uh, in the window journal, and that's because if you go in the window journal and if you go to line 74, these two little brackets here, I changed this to a period here, but it used to be a question mark. If you don't want anything before the before these comments, it used to be a question mark and then that. At the moment, I have a period and then that. But if you don't want anything, you just get rid of that, and it should be done. So that's how to do the journal. Uh, hope you liked it, and rate, comment, subscribe.